Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be exalted forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. This is God's own channel with Evangelist Sarah. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. He is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please, family, like this video, share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you. As you do that, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory Abba Father. Child of God, hear me very well. They started the war. Yes. They started the war. But the moment you dare fight back, they call you names. One thing I need you to understand, that no man go to sleep and wash his house on fire. It is only a crazy person that will be sleeping comfortably when his property is burning. As long as you are a human being, nothing can make you to be comfortable when your house is on fire. You will fight back. You will look for water. You will look for help to quench the fire. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. They started the war, but let me tell you one thing. That war that they have started, they cannot win the war. They cannot win the war. Because that is something I always tell, I always tell people who love to attack others. Don't start what you cannot finish. I used to tell people, especially when you experience toxic people in life, they are like, ah, we will do this, we will deal with you, we will do this, you must worship them. I said, don't start what you cannot finish because everyone have their way, they react differently. Hallelujah. Everyone have the way they react differently. The fact that the pe someone is quiet and calm does not mean that the person does not have words. Does not mean that the person don't, does not have anything to say. That person have a lot to say. But he or she choose not to be rebellious. Not to become somebody who, who not to become a narcissist. Not to be toxic. Everyone have what like situation that will make them to be toxic but they choose not to why because god has given us peace he has given us life he has given us death and he asks us to choose so what we choose matter we are the one that say ah we don't want to be toxic not that if we if we want to be toxic we cannot be toxic we can be toxic but we choose the good part and said no this is not the right thing because the good and evil are always presented before every man made before God, that, that God had created. There is always good and evil. So it is we that choose what we choose. It is not that maybe we are weak, but we choose the right thing because the right thing is what is right. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. They are fighting you everywhere and they are expecting you not to pray against them. They are fighting you with everything. They expect you not to return it back. They oppress you in your sleep. They expect you not to set the place where the oppression is coming from on fire. They expect you to sit down and watch them kill you. That is what they mean. When they fight you and you fight back in the place of prayer, they started accusing you. You fight back in the place with the word of God. They started accusing you. It means that they want you dead. Hallelujah. And if you still die, they will still tell you that you are responsible for your death. Why did you not fight back? Have you not heard it before? That somebody died. And people are like, hey, why did the person not do this? Why did he allow this person to kill him or her? Why did he allow it? If that person had fought back, people would say, oh, why did you fight back? That is the world that we are in. You don't know. Hey, you don't know. There are people who have died. When the person died, you hear people say, ah, they heard how the person died. They are like, ah, why would that person be that kind of a thing? Why would you not fight back? You have to fight back if the person has fought back. The same people will be like, ah, why did you fight back? Why did you not just keep quiet? You were not supposed to retaliate. You were supposed to retaliate. There is nothing you do. So don't let them kill you. It is a war that we are winning. To the glory of God. Because God is fighting the war for us. 
and we here are his representative, we must fight with his name and win everything for his glory. For his glory. Hallelujah. They that came fighting you are still the one crying when you fight back. They are still the one crying when you fight back. Child of God, don't let them kill you. If it is fight, we will fight it. I tell myself, if they come and they attack you in the night, you cannot pray. When you wake up in the morning, let's start the war. Then we will fight. Return the arrow back. Don't let them kill you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you with the love of Christ. And may your sister evangelize. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.